Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm a hair and makeup artist and a coach, and I'm doing a series of getting ready with me, so I'm just going to do my eye makeup while I talk to you for a little bit. Um, I was thinking today about when I first became an entrepreneur, and I would was like super excited that I would never have to leave the house on some days. And even more excited that like suddenly I didn't have to get dressed for work because I've been in the salon world for so long. I worked in worked for someone else in a salon for almost a little over 11 years. And so there was a dress code. We were required to wear, make wear makeup. We were re required to have manicured nails. And we had to have um, you know professional looking clothing. So there was a lot of pressure to look a certain way. Um, so I've been getting myself ready for my days for 11 years um, to go to work. And so when I started working for myself and I had this freedom, and on the days when I wasn't servicing clients or you know on site for a wedding, I could just be by myself at home and do work you know, from my office, like I am right now. And I was really excited at first at like the, the prospects that I didn't really have to get myself ready because no one else was going to see me that day. And so I started doing that. I started, you know, not getting myself ready in the morning. I would kind of roll out of bed, um, wear something really comfortable and still eat breakfast and do all of those things, but I wouldn't put any makeup on. Some days I wouldn't even wash my face until like halfway through the day. And I would just go right into my work. And what I realized that is that, that I thought that I was going to enjoy that so much. And the reality of it is that I it ended up not feeling very good. Like after a while, I would, you know, throughout the day look in the mirror and then I would feel tired and um, some days then I was able to like roll out of bed and eat breakfast while I started working before I had morning routines and it made me feel like my work was kind of taking over um, and I just didn't feel put together. So it really made me realize that I don't necessarily do my hair and makeup for other people even though like if I am going to leave the house or something that was like the extra pressure of like, oh, other people are going to see me, I should do my hair and makeup. But the person I was really doing it for was me. And it was because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel put together. And I think a lot of us, you know, when we're just going to be like doing something on our own at home or, um, you know, not seeing other people then we tend to say like, oh, I don't need to get myself ready and I'm not gonna put makeup on or do my hair, which that freedom is awesome. But sometimes after a while, if you keep doing that over and over, um, you start to not feel as great about yourself. And I think that there's something to be said about, um, I mean, we don't just need to make ourselves look good or make things special or a big deal when other people are involved because we're just as worthy of getting ready for and just as much of a big deal as other people. And I think in a lot of ways, our hair and makeup routines for, for women and even getting ready for men, like choosing a, uh, some clothing to put on or, I mean, anybody who is getting ready for their day, when you can put some intentionality around getting yourself ready in a way that is either in alignment with how you're feeling, so that it's like this perfect expression of you, um, or how you want to feel that day. Because sometimes that that getting your hair and makeup done or putting it on yourself can help you feel like like you have the energy and you're put together in a way that maybe you don't feel like on the inside. So I think that there's something to be said about that. Um, that outer communication, but also that putting that that time and effort into yourself is like self-care. And it communicates to you, to your subconscious that you're worth it and um, you're worth getting ready for too, which in my mind should 
absolutely be the case. And I definitely have days where I do not feel like putting makeup on my skin, but it's not because I don't want to get myself ready. Maybe it's instead now that I want to give my skin a break and let it breathe from makeup. But I'm really conscious of the of not falling into this rut of that sort of laziness um, that happens to me sometimes, or lethargy, or or distractedness, and and so I get like really buried in my business um, and in the things that I'm working towards, and then suddenly my makeup routine is you know just one more thing that I have to do that day, and it kind of gets in the way of of progress and it's not directly moving me forward but it's a slippery slope when that starts to happen because then I mean taking a break for lunch is also not progress um, so I found myself you know eating in front of my computer a lot which is actually not good for your digestion I found out um, and you know taking breaks throughout the day doesn't help you <laughs> like actually crunch through more work but studies actually show that it does it's just those pauses and those intentional times in our day that we take just for ourselves for balance and care and to show ourselves that we're worthy of that um, do more to recharge us and end up feeling more like like a tool that we can use to be more and more ourselves and that's my goal and something that I want to spread the word on because I think a lot of women or anybody who's wearing makeup we forget why we do it because it's just such a habit and when we can reframe the mindset of of not not necessarily wearing it because we feel like we have to um, because it's expected of us or you know maybe it's the dress code at your work but instead making it for you a tool for feeling good and for spending some time on yourself because you're so worth it and uh, and self-expression I think is just like a way healthier way to live so that's all I was thinking about Thanks for taking along.